from being homeless, I remember that like people are, like all who look down on me. They, a lot of times, treat you less than human. Lost my job, lost my apartment, I had lost people like a family member passed away. I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis and diagnosed with bipolar schizoaffective. I'm dealing with this every day. And once that door closes my apartment, I'm breaking down. I'm falling apart. You're in a point in your life where you're at your lowest and like you find out, okay, got some fresh clothes, got some certain ties and whatnot, and that's what they steal from you. That's the one thing they take from you. How desperate do you got to be right now to do something like that? I refuse to allow myself to go back through that again. I refuse to let somebody else go through that. So if you tell me what's going on in your life, I'm going to do the best I can to the best of my ability to get you out of that or help you through that. It felt good to finally say, this is my spot right here. James has had some unreliable people in his life. And I think that my ability to be a reliable person in his life um, is worth something in and of itself. Brian has become somebody you can depend on, almost like a brother. Welcome to Feel Better Care by Chill. As you've been over a couple weeks now, you already know. I'm gonna just start this off with like the little cha-cha slide. I get excited about <laughs> James being so excited about the work. James is doing a like chair yoga, chair stepping exercise with residents. He does coffee and tea groups, which is just getting residents socialized just to having those conversations about what challenges they experience. I saw you in that group earlier today. You had some fun with that one, didn't you? Yes. Awesome. We just want to do like a quick check-in. I did your assessment the other day. Just want to make sure there's no changes or anything. It's impacted me a lot. It's reminded me that like, everything I've gone through has kind of led me to the spot. James is a deeply creative individual. He's very connected to our community in Uptown. James is the first and only tenant to ever reach out to me about proofreading a novel they wrote. <laughs> I go to the coffee shop down the street sometimes. James said, oh, did you see my painting in there? And I said, what? James has his hands in all kinds of creative endeavors at all times, and I think that's something I really respect. Even on days when I'm at my most depressive state or feel like I'm at the part of my MS or whatever, I gotta wake up and remind myself, snap out of that, get back out there. There's always somebody else to help out.